Did you know that in August this year, Google openly admitted that some of its Gmail accounts were hacked by an Iranian group. Fortunately, the event was isolated and was taken care of, but rarely are security breaches this easy to stop. With more and more data moving to the cloud, the prospects of hacks like these have grown in the past decade exponentially. So consequently, organizations have now discovered the need to secure the digital infrastructure against various attack vectors, fueling the need for ethical hackers in the IT industry. So today's video is all about how you can learn the ins and outs of hacking and cybersecurity, irrespective of your learning background. So welcome to our video on how to become an ethical hacker by Simply Learn. Before we get started, ensure you are subscribed to the channel so you always stay updated with the latest technologies and trends. Let's first clear the air on an ethical hacker's role. The term hacking has inherently negative connotations. However, this will only be applicable until the duty of an ethical hacker is properly understood. Ethical hackers are the good people in the hacking field wearing the white hat. So what exactly is the responsibility of an ethical hacker? Instead of utilizing their extensive computer expertise for criminal purposes, ethical hackers find gaps in data and computer security for businesses and organizations worldwide to defend themselves against hackers with less than noble intentions. Ethical hacking is a subcategory of cybersecurity that involves lawfully breaking a system security mechanisms in order to discover possible threats and data leaks on the network. Ethical hackers can work for a corporation as independent freelancers, in-house security staff for its website or its applications, or as simulated offensive cybersecurity professionals as well. All of these careers need knowledge of current attack methodologies and tools, albeit the in-house expert may need to be knowledgeable about a single kind of software or digital asset. But how can you hone your ethical hacking skills? Let's take a look at few steps one can take while starting a career in this field. The first step is getting comfortable with Linux. There are operating systems catered specifically to ethical hackers like Kali Linux and Parrot Security. Both are based on Linux derivatives and have a plethora of tools to make your hacking workflow easy and relatively stress-free. The better versed you are with Linux and its terminal, the quicker you can achieve things when hacking. The next would be to master the mother of all programming languages, which is the C programming language. Since Linux and a lot of backend code are written in C, having a strong hand over this programming language is very important. It's always helpful to learn a couple more relevant languages like Python or JavaScript, which will help you dissect giant pieces of server code like butter. Remaining anonymous is vital in the hacking sphere since giving a malicious actor news of your existence on a target network can cause him then to flee or attack your device instead. The usage of MAC address randomizers and proxy chains is highly beneficial and recommended when monitoring networks for criminal activity. And speaking of proxies, ethical hackers must understand networking fundamentals and exactly how they are established. Learning about various networks and protocols might help you exploit flaws. An ethical hacker with an extensive understanding of networking tools such as Wireshark, Nmap and others can overcome field incidents relatively unscathed. The fifth skill in our list is traversing the dark web using the famous Tor browser. Most of the internet is hidden behind the Tor networks and getting a closer look at the people who often are at the forefront of the hacking industry in the dark web directly can help you familiarize yourself with a certain domain secrets while keeping you updated with the latest happenings in the cybercrime world. A major advantage that can tip the scales in the favor of an ethical hacker is the knowledge of cryptography or encryption. Encryption is used in various elements of information security, including authentication, data integrity, anonymity and others. Passwords and other sensitive information are always encrypted on a network. A hacker must understand how to recognize and break these encryption standards. Exploring vulnerabilities make you a better ethical hacker simply keeps you aware of the security measures that are kept in place as industry standards while handing you the most advanced penetration testing tools on the market. Learning how to scan networks and systems for vulnerabilities that might result in a security breach. Ethical hackers may also attempt to write vulnerabilities to exploit the system in question. As a final tip, join forums for conversations with other hackers worldwide to trade, share expertise and collaborate. Discord, Reddit, Telegram and other platforms all have communities where you can join and collaborate with fellow learners to broaden your learning spectrum. Now that we understand some basic skills ethical hackers need to excel in this domain, let us look at the roadmap one can follow to get started. Many ethical hackers begin their careers by studying computer science. You can also acquire an a certification from CompTIA by appearing for and passing two additional tests. These tests assess an individual's understanding of PC components and their ability to disassemble and reassemble a PC. However, before advancing in your profession, you must gather experience and obtain a Network Plus or a CCNS certification. The Network Plus certification certifies fundamental network expertise such as network administration, maintenance, deployment and troubleshooting. 
The CCNA certification guarantees the same skills and strives for foundation level proficiency. Once qualified, you can advance to the next level of your career in network support. You will be responsible for monitoring and upgrading, installing security software and testing for vulnerabilities. You will obtain expertise in network security and your goal should be offered as a position as a network engineer. As a network engineer, you will build and plan networks rather than simply maintain them. Your focus should now be on the security part of your journey to becoming an ethical hacker. This is the time to focus on earning a security certification such as Security Plus or CISSP. The US Department of Defense has approved the Security Plus accreditation which covers testing on critical areas such as access control, identity authentication and cryptography. The CISSP certification is a worldwide recognized security accreditation that validates the expertise of risk management, cloud technology and application development. The next step would be to start working in the Information Security Division. An Information Security Analyst studies systems and network security, engages with security breaches and strives to implement security solutions. For this profession, you should focus on penetration testing to gain hands-on experience with some of the most essential tools of the trade. Getting the Certified Ethical Hacker or the CEH certification should be your top priority. The training will teach you all you must understand to become a productive and ethical hacker. You will be engaged in a hands-on environment where you will be guided through breaking into a network and finding any security flaws. After obtaining this certification, you can begin marketing yourself as a professional ethical hacker. We have already covered some skills one needs to learn when starting their journey. However, an ethical hacker has certain roles and responsibilities that must be carried out meticulously. The first of which is threat modeling. Threat modeling is optimizing network security by identifying vulnerabilities and determining countermeasures for avoiding or reducing an attack's impact on the system. A threat is a real or projected negative incident jeopardizing the organization's assets. The role of an ethical hacker is to give a thorough assessment of potentially harmful assaults and their potential consequences. They can also conduct information security audits or a risk-based evaluation of a company's security. These regular exercises assess security's readiness, identify IT system weaknesses and offer strategies for reducing future attack threats. They also assess how successfully security related policies are implemented, resulting in a report that includes discovered flaws and appropriate solutions. Ethical writers must be able to collect data, detect vulnerabilities and correlate risks to create clear and unambiguous professional reports. These evaluations are frequently used to justify finalizing security asset expenditures. The market for trained ethical hackers has never been this expensive. According to various surveys, the job outlook for ethical hackers and information security analysts is supposed to grow by 33% between 2020 and 2030. Companies like IBM, Google and Microsoft are always on the lookout for trained cybersecurity personnel in this climate of data breaches and security vulnerabilities. We hope this video has cleared some doubts regarding where to start and what to learn during this journey. If you have any doubts or queries about ethical hacking or how to get started, Please drop your questions in the comment section and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Subscribe to Simply Learn for more videos like this and thank you for watching.